Hey guys, Ashley here. It's time for our review of the Nintendo 2DS. There are other opinions on the 2DS online, but this one is mine. So let's take a look. Okay, so the Nintendo 2DS is an interesting device. At first I was really skeptical. Who would want this thing if they could have a Nintendo 3DS XL? So then we got it here in the office, I used it, and I started really thinking about it. Uh, I'll get to my conclusions a little bit later in the video, but for now let's talk about my usage. I used the Nintendo 2DS for six days, and I played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on it almost exclusively. I've used the standard and XL variants of the 3DS, so I do have reference points, and actually really enjoy mobile and handheld gaming in general. Okay. So on to hardware. Obviously the 2DS is a lot different looking than the 3DS. There's no clamshell, you can't snap it shut, and as the name would suggest, there is no 3D on board. Uh, the control stick feels the same as the 3DS with a nice soft touch to it, and the bumpers also feel really nice and sturdy. Um, it does feel a little bit inexpensive, but other than that, um, it actually feels really solid. It doesn't feel fragile at all, which is really nice. Uh, since you can't close the 2DS, there's a sleep switch on the bottom right that will let you put your 2DS to bed without shutting it off, which is a really important feature if you're a big street pass person. The 2DS comes with a 4GB SD card included with your purchase, which is a nice little extra but not terribly huge in terms of space or card generosity. Um, I'm not really sure why Nintendo felt the need to keep the 3DS side-by-side -side cameras on the 2DS since you can't really preview anything in three dimensions on the 2DS screens, but AR games, I guess? Well, speaking of the screens, uh, actually, I should say screen, because the screens are actually just one screen under the front plastic cover that makes them look separate. Uh, that's a cost-saving measure by Nintendo, and honestly, you won't really notice it. You will, however, notice how small the screens are if you ever used or held a 3DS XL. They are the same size as the original 3DS, but for some of us, that might not be enough. And now I'm probably saying this because of my old eyes and I'm guessing kids won't have any problems using the 2DS as smaller screens. Um, the one thing I do worry about with the screens is scratching since you can't close it shut like the 3DS. And I wish Nintendo would have included either maybe a silicone cover for the front with the device. Uh, though I'd imagine you could probably make one pretty easy with some light magnets on the corners that would be cool or even maybe something from a third party accessory maker that's fitted to the front of the device. As for software, it's all the same as the 3DS. Love it or hate it, there's not much to say about the 2DS's software beyond that. It's easy to navigate, I wish the shop was a little faster to load, all that stuff. Gaming, the number one reason you'd buy this, was really straightforward on the 2DS. There's no slider for 3D, and oddly enough, a bunch of my friends currently hooked on Pokemon X and Y said the game actually ran smoother on the 2DS than it did on the 3DS using 3D. So take that for what it's worth, though I'm sure if you already have a 3DS, you're not really going to go get one of these. Um, I never found myself missing 3D on the 2DS, which was a very good thing in my opinion. Okay, so let's wrap this review up. I was a complete skeptic when the 2DS was announced. It was too weird. But then I actually spent some time with it and honestly found myself enjoying the gaming experience with it. It's perfect for little hands and more than satisfactory for adult ones. The price point alone is super compelling and it's obvious why Nintendo released this alongside Pokemon X and Y. So uh, I'm giving the 2DS, the Nintendo 2DS, a score of 7.5. Uh, if you don't have a 3DS and you felt it was too cost prohibitive to pick up but always wanted to check out the games on the system, this is a really awesome way to enjoy the 3DS's game library without breaking the bank. Well, that's it for our review of the Nintendo 2DS. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up for the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all the latest and greatest tech news. I'm Ashley Eskeva. See you guys next time. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.